welcome back to another episode of the Friday Night Fry Time. I'm your host, Mr. All the Rotten. And tonight, I got my friend, Mr. Grimsley here. Just came in from the cemetery, digging up a few graves, you know, having a good time, playing in the quicksand, that kind of thing. How you feeling, Mr. Grimsley? I heard you're a little, uh, a little ill, huh? I feel a little down. Hey, sick, sick. I'll tell you what, Mr. Grimsley, you came to the right place, because I got it right here to cure everything you got. I'll tell you, all right? Here, take it loose. Oh, I'll tell you, it's really good. Here, look, here, I'll put it in, I'll tell you what I got here. Uh, this is an old family recipe, a little arsenic, okay? Put that right there like that. Ooh, good stuff. Ah, here we go. This is the best. This is the witch's brew. Oh, Helga, the old witch from Halloween. She used to tell me all about this. This is cyanide, okay? Put a little kick in here. All right, a little down there. Oh, hey, how about a little of this, okay? Uh, Elmer's glue, okay? Oh, it's really good. Trust me, trust me. Good stuff. All right. I'll tell you what, Miss Grimsley, it's gonna help you so much. Here, drink up, my friend. Oh, trust me, trust me, Mrs. Grimsley. Trust me, it's all for your friends. Enjoy. Oh, down the hatch. Oh, oh, you look so much better. It's taking effect. It's taking effect. It's so terrible. shall live in eternal peace and happiness. We thank O Christ the Lord for this. In nomine Patre, Fili, Spiritus Santi. Is at this point in time, I would like you all to pay your last respects before the burial. Amy, may I have a word with you? Is something your father wanted you to have? Your father wanted you to have it. This is good luck charm. He wore it every day of his life. But remember, it was for you only, and you're not to share it with your family. Thank you, Father. I'm honored. I remember seeing him 
with this many years ago. Just remember, do not share it with any of your other family members. I will. Thank you, Father. You know, honestly, I've been waiting for this day for a long time. He's been missing for a year and then they find his body in the swamp. He had all of us, all of us baffled and just eager to cash in on his goods. Oh, shut up, Robert. You never cared about Daddy. You just collected your allowance and disappeared. What, you gave a crap about him? You had him wire everything to you because you were too busy to come see him. Some loving sibling you are. Enough. We're at Father's funeral. Let's not argue. He was murdered. At least we can show some respect so that he may go in peace. You know, I wonder if they're going to find out who murdered him. Because I'd like to meet them and thank them. You're a bastard, Robert. A self-centered creep who's only out for himself. What about you, Amy? You think you're any better? Do any of you think you're any better than anybody? Daddy knew somebody was going to have him done. Maybe one of you guys did him in. Imagine. Robert, now I know you're sick. Doing your own father in for money? Greed's the answer, Amy. Somebody was very greedy. Woo! Don't be alarmed, no. miss. Is he as calm? Caretaker? He's buried your father. I'm Reggie Wood, your late father's lawyer. I'm here to take y'all back to his estate for the reading of the will. So if y'all want to gather your things, I'm going to head back right now. All right, sir. Doesn't really look like dear old daddy. Too bad he hired a cheap artist. He was on the news two years ago. He hung himself to death. You know, if I painted like that and I considered myself an artist, I'd probably kill myself too. Pardon me, miss. Didn't mean to stall you. Who are you? This here is Bentley. His late father's honorable butler. Very sad of his past. The great master that said. Bentley, why don't you go get our guests some uh, refreshments? Everybody want to gather the seats? We're going to start the reading of the loop. What I have here is the authentic last will and testament of one Sir Roscoe Ryan Wickerman II. I, Roscoe, of sound mind and body, leave my family loved ones with my possessions. My son Alex, a busy body father. My son Robert, a self-centered ego with greedy paws. And my beloved Amy, who always made me smile on my worst day. All of you have been gathered here today to take away what I have gained in my lifetime. For any of you to obtain your share of my inheritance, which is $40 million liquefied, you all must stay the entire night here in this house. The house you all left me to die in. The house that drove me to hell. If any member leaves in the night, he or she will be cut out of the will with no exceptions. My lawyer will reassure that my last word is filled out. Signed, Sir Roscoe Ryan III. There you have it, folks. Your drink, miss. Are you kidding me? We have to stay in this rotten old house to collect inheritance? What kind of last wish is that? Apparently your father wanted y'all to know how he felt. Living in this house all alone, on this private island of his. 
He's the madman building a house in the middle of nowhere. No wonder nobody would come and visit him. I apologize and must announce the last ferry has left for the evening. We must all wait until morning to leave when the next ferry arrives. The ferry is left? What a coincidence. Last ferry leaves and, we're, and Daddy wants us to stay in this rotten old house. Don't you think this was all staged? Oh, stop it, Robert. I'm sure things are going to work out. I mean, what else could go wrong? Oh it's okay, everyone. Everything's okay. We're gonna go ahead and see what's wrong with the power. Till then, Bentley's gonna show you all to your rooms for the evening. I'll see everyone in the morning. Good night.